So I'm holding the perfect compact beginner drone, the DJI Mini 3 Pro, and it's awesome. So this is not gonna be a video specifically about the Mini 3 Pro. It's more about how you can take your drone footage and make it look more cinematic. And this is the list that I've come up with of all the things that you could do to really make your footage as cinematic as possible. So one of the best things you can do pretty much straight away is change your video settings or your camera settings on your drone. Now to save you time, here are all the best settings here on screen that I've found for the Mini 3 Pro. And if you're using a different drone, then you generally wanna try and match these settings as best you can. Now for your resolution, you wanna try and set this to be as high as possible. You also wanna try and shoot at 24 frames a second. And if you're using slow motion, then you can generally bump that up to 60 frames or some drones will also also shoot in higher frame rates if you drop the resolution. Now, once you've changed all these settings, you might naturally find your camera or your settings are overexposed. So what you naturally want to try and do is then go in and adjust those settings. But what you want to do instead of doing that is use one of these, an ND filter. Now, in this camera in particular, I'm using an ND filter. It's like sunglasses for my camera, and I can adjust that exposure by dialing that ND filter up or down. So what you wanna do is basically use a kit like this one. Then you wanna try putting different filters on your camera until you get the correct exposure. Just over here, off to the side there, some of you might actually recognize this location um, as where I film my Travel Effects Pro course and my latest cinematic film. That's where we filmed just down on the beach and we filmed a whole bunch of shots and just also behind me here. I've come here, it's like probably seven o'clock in the morning. The lighting's just perfect. So this is like just makes getting those drone, early morning drone shots just absolutely perfect. So let's get the drone up and get some more shots. Now, a lot of people will also tell you that the location that you film in is a massive determining factor of the final cinematic result for your video. And that is true. The location will have a big impact, but more important is also the time of day that you're filming. So I like to film a lot of my shots early in the morning or late afternoon, and it just makes the finished video look so much better. Now, also more important to the location is finding something of interest or a point of interest at that particular spot. So these particular shots here on screen, I've got a point of interest, but if I compare this to something where I'm just flying down to the local park where there's nothing there, it just looks so much more cinematic because I've got something that really stands out in my shots. So when you go to a location, you wanna really think about the time of the day and you also wanna try and pick out something that's really interesting at that location. Now, also before we move on, I wanna tell you about today's sponsor, Envato Elements. Envato Elements is a one-stop unlimited download, graphic, templates, music, website that allows you to use them in all of your different creative projects, commercial or even personal, under this one license. Now, I've personally been using Envato Elements for quite some time now because it just saves me hours in the editing process. When I need some titles or I need some graphics, I can simply just go on there and download what I need and they're all ready to go. I don't have to spend hours trying to recreate them all from scratch. Now, even better is Envato Elements is now offering a seven day free trial. So you can download all of this stuff for free for seven days and it's only in selected countries. And if you also use my special link down in the description below, that's gonna give you 50% off an annual subscription. So check it out by the link in the description below. Now also the type of shots that you get also determine how cinematic your video is. Now generally for cinematic shots, you wanna try and fly as slowly forward as you can. You want to try and keep your movements very smooth and concise. You can also do very slow tilt ups and pan downs, but try to avoid moving the camera drastically in one direction or making very sudden changes. It doesn't look anywhere near as cinematic as just flying in a straight line with very slight camera movements. So I shot that whole video on this, which is the DJI Mini 3 Pro Remote. And personally, I think it's the best thing that they did in this new drone, because before it was really, it really annoyed me how you had to have, you know, pull out these cables and then plug your phone 
into the remote. Whereas just having this where the monitor is built into the controller, I personally think is a game changer. And it just speeds up that entire process of going to a location, getting a drone out quickly and getting those shots. Now, if you followed all of the tips laid out in this video, there's one last thing that you can do to really make your video footage look as cinematic as possible. And that's adding a really good color grade. Now, if you followed all of those settings, you should end up with footage with the same sort of look to your shot. So it's quite a washed out, sort of desaturated look. And that's because of the d cine like that you're filming in on your drone. It gives it that look, which allows us to get as much detail out of the highlights and shadows. First thing you wanna do is basically just add a new adjustment layer. And I'm just gonna drag this up here on top. Now, what I like to do first is call this one color correction. And on the color correction layer is where we're going to apply the color correction. I'm using the basic correction menu here, and this is where I'm just going to adjust the overall look of my shot. So I'm just going to add a little bit of contrast. I'm going to bring down those shadows, maybe bring up those highlights slightly. I'm just watching, make sure that none of this is blowing out. So I'm just trying to add a bit more contrast. The other thing I'm also doing is maybe warming up my shot or trying to adjust for the tint and white balance. And you can also add a bit of saturation. So before and after, we're just really making a basic color correction here. So that's the first thing you wanna do. Now between each of these shots, it's going to be different. So you want to basically go through and individually adjust each of these shots. So once you've kind of made one correction, you can use your blade tool and then just kind of chop this up here to break up the shot and individually then go through and adjust each of those shots. Now, once you've done that, then we can add another adjustment layer over here on top. And this one I'm gonna call color grade. So this is where we're gonna add a LUT or a color grade over the top. Now for me, I'm gonna be using some LUTs and I'm using free LUTs that I've made myself. And you can also download these free LUTs via link in the description below. But for me, I'm gonna use my Tangy Mango and just apply that straight to my shot. And then I can adjust the intensity slider of how much I want on that particular grade. Now, the other thing is with this grade, that it might not work for all of these different shots. And I'm gonna use a different LUT here, this one called Bright Cherry. And what I can do with this is go back to my correction and then I can make some final adjustments here. So I'm gonna add up the, build up the contrast, drag down the exposure here, kind of make that adjustment there to get that overall finished look. And if I go before and after, you can see just how much a difference that color grade has made. Most of the time when I see people just throw a lot over the top, they generally don't get the desired results. Well, that's generally comes down to the way that you filmed your footage or not correctly filmed it in the first place. So you need to make sure that you're filming it and exposing it correctly and then doing a color correction before you apply a lot over the top. Now, one last thing that you can do is then add a cinemascope over the whole thing. And that just kind of adds a really nice finish to that video. So if I play back these shots before and after, you can see on screen just how much a difference that final color grade makes. But again, it's really important that when you're trying to make your footage look as cinematic as possible, that you follow all of the steps. I've seen people just throw in a lot, they don't get the desired results, and then they just kind of give up. It's a whole process. You have to correctly film your footage, you have to set up your correct settings, and then you get the best final results out of your camera. So there's all the things that you can do to make your drone footage as cinematic as possible. If you like this video, I can give it a thumbs up. If you love this video, then maybe consider subscribing to this channel. You can also check out more drone videos. If they're out, there'll be a link in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.